I'm about to read a book about gossiping by Joy Berry. This book is about Katie and her friends, Laura and Tommy. Reading about Katie and her friends can help you understand and deal with gossiping. Do you know what I found about Katie? Uh-huh. So what are they doing now? She's about to start the gossip. What does gossip mean to you? Before we start the book, what does it mean to you? It's, it means backbiting when other people are not there. Mm-hmm. You are gossiping when you tell others unkind things about someone. Katie acts like a baby. Not true. <laughs> you are gossiping when you tell others untrue things about someone. Wait, now. Gossiping. The definition of gossiping, let me give you a correct definition of gossiping, okay? Because mm-hmm. there are two things here. When you talk about someone behind their backs, mm-hmm. and you say untrue things, that is not called gossiping. You know what that is called? Slender. Now, what do I always tell you? It's called slender. When you, <laughs> when you talk about someone behind their back and you say untrue things, that's mm-hmm. called slender. The book has, the definition in this book is wrong, okay? Oh, so they she also know. made a mistake? No, maybe in her definition, that's what it is. But for us... Okay, we are Muslims and we are taught what gossiping is. Mm-hmm. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us what gossiping is, mm-hmm. okay, and to avoid it. Gossiping means when you say true things about someone, that is, is true, but you know that if the person heard you, they would be upset. For example, let's say your brother got an F mm-hmm. on his uh, math, <laughs> and then... You come and you go to someone else and you say, do you know my brother got an F on his math test? Isn't that, you know, bad? How could he, you know, get an F? It was so easy. Now, it's true that he got an F, right? Mm -hmm. But are you gossiping or not? I'm gossiping, yeah. You are gossiping because, yes, it's true, but you know that if your brother were to hear you um, talk about him like that, he will be upset, so you are gossiping, okay, even though it's true. Now, let me give you another scenario. What if you come and he got an A on his test, right? Mm-hmm. But you're just so upset, you just want to say the untrue things, and you come and you said, do you know my brother got an F on his test? And that's not true. He did not get an F, right? Mm-hmm. Now, is that a gossip? Mm, a slander. No, you're just slandering him. Like, you're just saying things that are not true, okay? So, again... The book's definition is not the correct definition for us. It's not what we are taught, okay? Mm-hmm. We're taught that gossiping is when you say true things about someone that they would not like you to say. You can question, like, why is the author saying it? Remember, we live in a world with many different, different people, different cultures, different religions, you understand? Mm-hmm. So everybody might have their own way of looking at things, their own way of defining words, but you always... Supposed to know how do I define this word? What does this word mean in my religion, in my culture? Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And then it's also important to see how others define this word. So that way you have both. You know how you define it and you know how others define it. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. And she's like, Katie cries every time her mother leaves her at school. See, she's such a crybaby. That isn't true. The cat the cat said that's not true, but she said that isn't true. Okay. Gossiping can hurt the people you gossip about. Mm-hmm. The the things you say may cause them to feel bad about themselves. Has that ever happened to you? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard somebody gossiping about you and your feelings were hurt? Mm-hmm. That happened to you mm-hmm. before? Mm-hmm. Now, the feeling is not nice, is it? It's not a nice feeling, right? Mm-hmm. So you have to make sure that you don't make anybody feel that way. Even if it's a person you don't like, even if it's a person who's not your friend, okay? Just don't make anybody feel like that. You know why? Because you yourself don't want to feel like that, okay? 
So you treat others the way you want to be treated. Exactly. So then you you after that you know that the other people will just that will happen to them. Oh, uh, like if someone gossip that um somebody else will gossip mm-hmm. about them. Yeah, of course. You, you know, because whatever, whatever you do, whatever bad you do to someone, then know that that can also happen to you. Maybe Laura is right. Maybe I am a cry baby. Oh, but. <laughs> And she's crying here. <laughs> she's not crying. She's just thinking. Yeah. She's just saying that. Okay. You don't look so good. Of course she doesn't. She feels awful. The people you gossip about can be hurt in another way. The things you say may cause others to treat them unkindly. Yeah. Look, here's the bird and the, 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 the ladybug. Yeah, do you understand that? Mm-hmm. The things you say may cause others to treat them unkindly. So she come and say somebody, you know, you talk about somebody like, oh, you know, she smells, right? Then other people will want to avoid that person. It's not nice to do that. And say, hey, stinky girl. Yeah, or they might start calling her names. So you're causing more pain. Do you want to play? No, thanks. You're just a cry baby. Now, is he saying that loud to her? Mm. Uh, what's happening here then? He's just thinking that. Because that's a thought bubble, yeah. He's saying it to his soul. Now, what is the cat thinking? The cat is thinking, I hope he doesn't think I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> Gossiping can hurt you. If you say unkind things, people might think you are unkind. They might not like you. They might not want to be with you. You understand that? Mm-hmm. You understand what the author is trying to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're there sitting down gossiping, right? And people are listening to you. But they'll be like, ooh, this person gossips a lot. Maybe I don't... Want to be friends with this person? She might say mean things about me too. Mm. Okay. Tommy, Tommy won't play with me because of what Laura told him. Laura is mean. I don't like her. Oh. I'll bet Laura told him I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> Gossiping can hurt you in another way. Others might think you are dishonest. 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 If what you say is not true, they might not trust you. They might not believe anything you say. Now, here they're talking about when you're slandering someone. Meaning, like, when you're saying that, like, things that are not true. Remember, we said there's a difference between saying things that are true and saying things that are not true about someone. Okay? Please. So, when you come in you slandering people, saying things that are not true about them, then people will not trust you anymore. Mm-hmm. Would you trust someone who's always spreading lies about other people? Would no. you trust them? No. Nah. If Laura lied about me, she probably tells others other lies. I'll never believe her again. Yep. I bet she tells lies about other cats too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is thinking land. This is, okay. This is uh, talking private thinking land yeah so when a, you talk private mm-hmm. with, with other people that you trust like is it a cat mm-hmm. when you don't even know what he's saying <laughs> but they're thinking about the same thing gossiping can hurt others and it can hurt you do not gossip here is a good rule for you to follow if you can't say something nice if you cannot if you cannot say something nice do not say anything at all yep it is like no one say nothing about that bird. Where is Laura? I'd like to tell them exactly what I'm thinking. I think about Laura, but I don't want to gossip. Gee, I don't know. Some people may ask you questions about other people so that you will gossip. Mm-hmm. Do not gossip when this happens. Do these things instead. Explain kindly that you would rather not answer questions about others than to suggest that you talk about something else. But you understand that? Mm-hmm. So some people just ask you, like, hey, you know, how is so-and-so? So have you seen her lately? Have you seen her new pet lately? Like stuff like that because they just want you to start talking. So you say, yeah, okay, and then just keep moving to something else, not about the person. We heard that Laura said mean things about people behind their backs. <laughs> Is that true? I would rather not answer that question. Let's talk about something else. 
Do not try to get other people to say things that are unkind or untrue. Do not ask questions that will cause them to gossip. Mm -hmm. And more th about thinking land. Let's see, <laughs> pink background, thinking land. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like to ask them what they think about Laura, but I don't want to cause them to gossip. I shouldn't have been so catty. Now, you know why she said that? Catty? No, her. Uh, you know why she said, I'd, I'd like to ask them uh, what they think about Laura? Because sometimes, as humans, mm -hmm. it is normal to want to hear gossip, okay? Sometimes you just want to hear it. Like, I, I, you know, you're curious. Mm -hmm. You know, the curiosity gets you, mm -hmm. but you have to control yourself and remind yourself that me asking them a questions that will cause them to gossip is as if I am gossiping also, okay? Because listening to gossip mm -hmm. is the same as gossiping, okay? Yeah. Do not listen to people who, who want to gossip do these things instead. Tell them kindly, kindly that you do not want to hear gossip. Go away from them if they continue gossip. Yeah. So just tell them that you'd rather not hear it. If they continue, then you have to like, get whatever. away. No, you don't have to be mean to them also. You can just tell them that, you know, nicely that I'm, um, you know, have to leave. You won't believe the bad things I found about Laura. Yeah. I really don't want to hear gossip. You won't believe the bad things I found about Laura. I'm going home now. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, she's mean. Don't be her friend anyways. She doesn't tell, she's like such a meanie. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so even if they call you a meanie, for example, still, you know, it's better for you to get away from people who gossip. What does the cat say? Well, maybe I could stay. Just, just stay. A... No, I guess not. <laughs> like, I'll stay here just a little bit to hear the gossiping. <laughs> I mean... Like I said, it's very tempting because if you have to really control yourself, say, you know, I'd rather not hear it. Hearing gossip is the same as gossiping. So again, hearing gossip, gossip is the same as gossiping. Mm -hmm. You might feel hurt or angry when people gossip about you. You might want to gossip about them. Maybe I should have gossiped about Laura to pay her back for gossiping about me. Maybe I should have stayed just a couple of minutes. Now, is that the right thing to do? Mm, kind of. So when someone gossip about you, do you think you should also gossip about them? Because mm, no. remember, they are doing something bad, so you should also do something bad because no. they did something bad. <laughs> so you have to think, okay? So they will get you twice, do you know that? They gossip about you and they got you to do something bad. Wow. So when someone gossip about you, do not say I'm going to do the same because <gasps> guess what? They hurt you one time and they're about to do something else. So you're about to do something bad just because of them. Okay? You're going to let them win twice. And they're not winning really, but you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. When people gossip about you, don't gossip about them. Do these things instead. Talk to them kindly. Ask them to stop gossiping about you. Try to work out your problems together. You may need to ask someone to help you. No. You've been goss you've been gossiping about me. It really hurts my feelings and I want to talk to you about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like feel like gossiping about people you do not know very well. Do not gossip about them. Do these things instead. Introduce yourself to the people, get to know them, and be kind to them. I'm sorry I was unkind to you. I like to know you better. Maybe we could play a game together. Sure! Throw it to me first! <laughs> it is important that you treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want people to gossip about you, 
You should not gossip about them. This is fun! It's fun playing with people who don't gossip, like Laura. <laughs> uh, 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 no, if, she, if he was to add that, then he'll be gossiping about Laura. Yeah. You get it? So, it so just say it's fun to play with people who don't gossip. Why do you have to say somebody else's name? Hmm? Uh, uh, <laughs> don't add people's <laughs> names, that's gossip. <laughs> so look, Generalize. Look, 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 look. Don't specify. That's the key to not gossip. Just generalize, okay? Yeah. And that's what the cat is doing. He's just saying it's fun playing with people who don't gossip. Point blank. But if the cat was to act like Laura, would that be gossip mm -hmm. now? Yeah, now that would be gossip then. Well, that's it. The end. <laughs>